So if there's anything you want us to know before 2022, feels like we're living in the future. We'll see why not what. Oh, um, mostly because of the holidays. Yeah. It's a shortened month. Things are still happening. Don't worry, we're not abandoning anybody. This is not the meeting where we find out that Second Life is closed forever. Promise. Uh, that one will be in, let's see, like 2053, I think, is what we've got it slated for on the roadmap. So we've got a few more. That's when this world ends. I'll see you in the next one. We will all be eaten by the world dragon and reborn in cosmic greatness in the next world. I, for one, am looking forward to it. Yeah, I don't know what um, what Harbor profile the Cosmic Dragon is uh, is running. I look forward to finding out. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Once again, welcome. Happy December to everybody. Uh, as I was saying earlier, a bit of a shortened itinerary. Um, mostly just recap real fast of, of November. We had two kind of big ticket items that I'm sure everybody has seen and has thoughts about and happy to hear them if you'd like to provide them. But one was the search facelift that we worked on through our, all of November and a little bit of October as well. Um, which we're very proud of. Uh, I understand that there's some people on the forums that don't think it's the best, but we like it. Um, so we're going to keep it. And um, then the other thing is that we're splitting the streams for uh, your email, your offline email preferences. So uh, right now the preference is set to, if you say I want to receive my IMs as offline uh, emails, you will also get offline group notifications. Uh, just kind of as an added bonus, we are splitting those two streams up. So shortly, when by shortly I mean next week, uh, you will be able to choose whether you want to receive offline group notices and offline IMs, or if you just prefer to receive one or none. Um, the important part about this is that you are, if you are currently receiving offline group notices, on the 15th, so literally one week from today, if you have not already toggled that you would like to continue receiving offline group notifications, you will stop receiving those. The default is not to get them, and that will be applied across the board unless you tell us otherwise. So if you want to keep receiving your offline group notifications, go toggle those on. And that's really it for previous work.
Um, I do want to talk a little bit about what we've got coming up in the new year. Um, not specifically January, but just kind of an overall. Uh, we've been doing a lot of thinking about what 2022 looks like. Uh, we've been making some internal roadmaps. We've been talking a lot about, about that. So I do want to share a little bit of that. But if there's some feedback that y'all want to give, I'm happy to hear it before we get into that. So I will let's see here. Yeah, Pantera, sorry about that. We we fixed the the bug there. But yeah, that, that definitely was happening. Nobody wants to yell at me about search facelift. I'll take it. Now's your chance. No, it's not Q&A time yet, Lucy. It's yell at read time. They're Isn't it always, though? Well, internally, sure. I just assume you're always yelling at me. I like to That's give the right. residents the chance to do so, too. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Don't listen to them. They lie. There's much yelling. Right. Okay. Well, um, in that case, uh, I have heard no actual yelling. So I'm going to move along. You missed your chance if you really wanted to yell. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, oh. Here we go. Good to search, actually. Ah, here we go. Uh, well, Lucy, it was a question. It wasn't yelling. Question and answers comes later. I just want the yelling. Uh, which options for... Yeah, okay, so there's... Your two questions are similar. Um, the actual functionality is not was not included in this particular release, so functionality changes. Those are coming later. We will be doing those in the new year, which gives me a wonderful chance to talk about the other stuff that we're thinking about for the new year. So um, one of those is absolutely we will be continuing on the search functionality uh, stuff. So having started with the facelift so that we were starting from a nice clean slate, we will now be moving on to um, kind of changing things uh, the way search actually works and trying to refer refine it to be more useful and more relevant. Uh, those are our two watchwords, specifically the relevance um, going forward. Right now, we are aware that, you know, search doesn't actually do all the things that it ought to do. Um, and when you search for something, you don't always get the results that you think you probably should. Um, we get that. We're not going to sit here and tell you that we are the experts on, on how search should work. So we went out and hired the experts, uh, and they're going to start next year. Um, and help us out with that. We'll get to questions in a little bit, Tilly, I promise. Um, along with that, yep, many questions. So question, very question, wow. Um, along with that, we're also gonna be looking at uh, facelifting pretty much all of our web uh, properties across the board. So this is a wider 2022 uh, effort. Uh, we do specifically want to make everything much more user-friendly and specifically mobile-friendly. So that's going to be one of our big, big pushes uh, next year is trying to make sure that everything works happily on all of the devices um, across the board. So this is your your tablets, your, your smartphones, uh, as well as the... Um, Aside from that, we've got a number of kind of infrastructural upgrades that always go on, um, but, you know, some big ones these days, um, you know, kind of trying to get us get us up to all of the, the good stuff. 
um, that you know we we try and keep up with. But now that we are on AWS and and in the cloud, we can actually leverage the tools that we have there to make these things go much faster uh, and actually keep up with them much better. Finally, we want to come back, and I know this is this is uh, uh, going to be fun for for the whole family. Um, we want to come back to Premium Plus. Uh, the last time I ran these, we were working and talking about Premium Plus, um, and I know how long ago that was because <laughs> I haven't run these for quite some time. Um, so yeah, it's back. It's back. We're going to do it for reals this time. Uh, we don't have a giant uplift project that's going to get in the way. Uh, I am not prepared to tell you exactly what perks, Lucy. I know, but stay tuned. Like I say, this is a 2022 high level. You know, these things are coming in the next year. I don't know exactly when they're coming in the next year. I don't exactly know. I don't know. I don't know exactly in the next year, but in the next year, and I don't know exactly what form they will take, but they will take a form. And the good news is that we have this meeting every month, and that will continue next year too. And that's it. That's the high level. We'll be doing a lot more stuff too, um, but some of it is is more use uh, or less user facing, um, and some of it we have even less details now nailed down than what I have shared thus far. Um, marketplace work will be included in that facelift, uh, Lucy. So there will be a lot of changes to the marketplace. It's all in there. We have our designers working around the clock. Does anybody have any general questions about the, the roadmap that I threw out there? before I move on. Panther, no, we're not going to require anybody to resubmit their products under different keywords. You're safe. And others? Okie doke. Um, in that case, I did want to, so last, last month we talked about um, place pages and kind of what we want to see from place pages going forward. Uh, I had hoped that maybe we might have a little discussion about that. So if any of y'all have done any thinking about what you'd like to see from place pages, now's the time. I am curious. Like Fraser Crane, I'm listening. Well, glad to prove you wrong.
understandable that search is broke uh, or searching in place pages is broken. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm more curious right now, not about bugs, but more, how would you like place pages to work? Like, what would you like to get out of place pages? How would you like to use it? What would you like to see it do? The answer could be nothing. That is a viable answer. It could be, I don't want place pages to do anything. I'd prefer to see it go away. But if you're using it, or you'd like to use it, and there's a particular thing that might make it better, or uh, a vision that might work better, uh, I'd be curious to hear that. If anybody has any particular suggestions, I'd love to hear them. I'll give it about five minutes. Nico, I'm specifically talking about the web UI. Yeah, that's the right thing. So this, it's a it's a web property that we own, and um, we think it's underutilized. Uh, you know, Lucy's um, complaints here are not unfounded, right? Um, it, it is a bit in a weird limbo state. Uh, we don't we don't have a a really good, strong description, you know, kind of raison d'être for it, um, and We'd like to make it usable. Uh, we'd like to make it something that is not just functional, but is uh, helpful. Um, we think that there's a lot of potential there uh, as a as a web-based way to kind of find out things about places in Second Life, um, you know, without having to be logged into the client, uh, but it, it needs it needs some tuning and it needs some you know it kind of needs a purpose uh, so that was the the hope was to kind of have a discussion about what what could that purpose be
Dusty, the, the limit there was mostly on uh, server space. So, you know, if you took all of the parcels on every region, uh, including some historical, and you gave people unlimited images, that means that we're then hosting all of those images, and we just had limited bandwidth at the time. Uh, that's not necessarily true anymore now that we're in the in the cloud, although we still pay for that. So, but to your point, we we have been thinking hard about what that limit should be now that we're not actually hard capped by actual hardware. Because before we were in a colo, like we had, we only had so many machines. Uh, now Amazon has all the machines we could ever want. <laughs> We just have to pay for them. Yeah, Panther, I think that's right. Um, being able to filter by maturity um, and, and potentially other keywords makes sense to me. Um, you know, private region versus mainland, um, you know, things along those lines. But that, I mean, again, that's kind of just getting into... That's, I mean, that, that's not... I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to shut that down. I think that's a good place to start. Um, I'm still trying to figure out, so why would we be searching in place pages? What are we looking for? What would be useful information to return? You know, what is the use case? Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm surprised I haven't heard anybody say, oh yeah, actually I use it for this. Thanks, Lucy. That's helpful. So, you, you okay? So let's let's dig into that a little bit. So you have a listing. What what ideally what would that listing do for you? Sure, but I'm saying an Id ideally, right? If we could, if we could wave a magic wand and just make places anything that it wanted to be. And Tara, I think you're right. Um, I, I think that would absolutely be something that it could be used for. And I think originally that was the idea, was to give a, a place to really highlight and showcase your, your parcel, um, you know, your space, uh, to make it really inviting in a way that, that web search kind of can't be. Yeah, Nico, I like that. Event info. Hadn't thought about that. That'd be great. Yeah.
Ooh, yeah. So classifieds is another one that I want to get into at some point. Not not this meeting, but I have I have large questions about how we use and what we expect from classifieds. Pantera, would you would you expect that that would be similar to like a I don't know like a mini blog almost or like a blotter? Yeah, okay. Kind of like a blotter then. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I like that. I also like the idea of, of historical statistics. You know, or even like predictive. You know, this place is usually busy at XYZ time, right? Yeah, we'd love to make these things, you know, place pages kind of the the location for the place, right? Like all of the information that you'd ever want to know about this particular place, whether it's a club or a shop or, you know, whatever it happens to be, a, you know, an RP venue. You no, know, here, this is, you know, here's some examples of what this looks like. You know, here's here's some examples of what we do. Here's a description, maybe an updated covenant. Here are the upcoming events for this spot. You know, here's... Here's how, uh, you know, like it's usually busy around these times and, you know, what we mean by busy. You know, max was 82 people in this, you know, on this parcel all at once. And that was in May of 2021, right? So tell you, uh, let's see here, newcomers finding avatars free and close. I'm not sure if that's a places question or not. We'll get to that in Q&A, I think. Yeah, Pantera, I, I think that one is definitely kind of on my list. Claire, absolutely. Separate links for, for other locations, you know, such as Discord and other uh, social media, Twitter, Facebook. Cool. Well, thanks everyone. That's giving me some ideas about directions we might want to take place pages. Um, I'll keep doing some more thinking about this, but and you know maybe we'll talk about this more in future meetings. Right now, uh, large updates to place pages are not on the roadmap, so this isn't taking taking time away from. Uh, any of the other stuff that is high priority, but it's something that we want to keep thinking about and seeing, you know, how can we, how can we actually make this a, uh, not just useful, but, um, 
you know, kind of a, an integral and important part of Second Life. Cool. Um, okay, so I have one other thing that I will save toward the end, uh, just a food for thought for next uh, next month, much like Place Pages was uh, for this month. Um, so I won't spoil that, but uh, I will go ahead and open it up for Q and A since we've got about I think got about half an hour left here. Uh, marketplace question and answers add on my roadmap. Um, they're on the roadmap, Lucy. I, I don't have them specifically laid out on a on a particular date or month. Um, there are things that I would like to get to, but we have an a million things that need to be gotten to, and they all need to be coordinated and resourced and laid out, and it's not 2022 yet. So that's job for me and, and the, the team to kind of figure out over the next month or two. Yeah, I agree. Um, the The whole question and answers thing is, it's interesting. Um, not not sure exactly where and and how it fits, which is why it's not yet on the roadmap in any particular location. We say it needs shaping. I know I missed a question earlier up from Tilly, so let me go find this. What newcomers finding avatars free and close? I'm sure not unclear. Tilly Mystic, would you mind restating your, your question there? Uh, since we're in the official question and answer portion. Uh, Lucy, we are nowhere on those yet. Um, we're trying to implement the option that we have currently across the board. So next step is putting it in front of the viewer. Uh, and then Marketplace, I believe, uh, is after that. And then from there, so once we've got full coverage on our current implementation, we'll start looking at other implementations. Pantera, oh, after my own heart, uh, yes, it is not currently possible to do that, but that is something we are absolutely looking into. Um, we're, I mean, 
to speak on that a little bit more broadly, we're, we're looking into a lot of um, putting into, you know, quite a bit of functionality onto the web, uh, you know, so that you, you are not required to uh, be in the client to access uh, things like, for example, chatting with people on your friends list, or maybe, you know, maybe interacting with groups in, in a particular way. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, if everybody plays real nicely and prays to the gods, interacting with your inventory in meaningful ways, too. Ooh, Pantera, that's a very good question, and I do not know the answer to that. That is an excellent question. Let me get back to you on that. Mars, yeah, so that's one of the reasons why we were thinking it, it might be limited to just people on your friends list so that you're not getting spammed. And if you're being spammed by people on your friends list, well, you know, maybe an unfriending.
<laughs> you see, uh, that, that is absolutely um, not going to happen at launch, but boy, it's something I want. Uh, so we'll, we'll work on it. But yes, I would love an a la carte function. Tilling Mistake Premium Plus is not yet rolled out. It will be next year. We're talking about future possibilities. I mean, if you think they can't be answered here, then I'm not going to force you. And the worst thing I can tell you is, you are correct, I can't answer that. Uh, Lucy, you asked me that question earlier. I said I'd get back to you about it. I, I will. You're going to give me more than six hours. Yes, you did. So this is just performative asking now for everybody. Gotcha. All right, well, fair enough. <laughs> My answer remains the same. I will ask them and get back to you. I will try and keep the finally and other snark out of the question. Nico, yes-ish, but would you care to expand on what you mean by keyword functionality in search? I can be more specific if you give me a more specific example. No problem, take your time. We have 14 minutes. A little bit less because I want to give, give you all homework for next month. Uh, yeah, Lucia, that is definitely one you were correct. I can't answer that here. Next. Yeah. Anything governance related, it's beyond our scope. Probably end up giving you the wrong answer and then pissing somebody off. Uh, 
Uh, Mars, unless that's specifically referring to structure in marketplace, which I don't think so. Again, that's beyond our scope here. This is just web stuff. Uh, I can't, I can't help with uh, with your inventory. Wouldn't even know where to start. I believe there is a viewer user group that probably would be more appropriate question there. Uh, Nico, I see your question. I'm going to get back to it in just a second. Um, Gorban, yes. The answer to your question is yes. Coming in 2022. Uh, Nico, yeah, we'd like to make it more functional there. I mean, so as I said at the beginning, um, we are going out and acquiring uh, search expertise. Um, so I don't want to make too many promises here um, because I, I don't personally know what's possible. But yes, that, site, that type of thing seems like it is on the list of stuff we can do. So I would, I'm going to give a very tentative yes to that. And to Lucy's follow-up, also a tentative, pretty sure we can fix that too. Yep, no problem. Yeah, I look forward to having more conversations about what we can actually do uh, with search and what we will be doing with search in the future uh, once we have um, a better handle on, on what that looks like. Right now, all I know is we're going to fix it. Nico, I, me too. I hope so. Um, and like I say, right now I'm just kind of gathering information. So I don't have a specific plan in place. And I don't know, as a result of that, I don't know when we would actually start implementing said plan. Um, but yeah, I, I think there's hope for it. And I think there's a vision that, that could actually make it pretty special. Still trying to nail that down.
Lucy, I just noticed that you're on the opposite table ahead as me. Ha <laughs> ha! Today we fight. By virtue of uh, web search and marketplace stuff being on the roadmap already, they have higher priority. So hope no longer, just know they will be better or higher. Global econ game. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. I must have missed that James Bond movie. I win. I win. Yeah, if we're ready. Um, so for next time, what I'd like to discuss, similar to the conversation we had about place pages, um, is the use and merits and cons around having um, sub brands within your stores, uh, within the marketplace stores versus having an alt, right? So creating essentially a new store, uh, with an alt account. Um, this gets requested fairly regularly. I think it's really tricky, um, to do it right and to, and to pull it off. So I don't want to just give a blanket. Yes, of course we'll do this. Um, I kind of want to get a handle on how exactly w what, what would doing it right look like? Um, where are the potential pitfalls? Um, you know, what, what are the potential payoffs? You know, is this something that can be done, you know, kind of out of the gate currently with just having an alt account? Um, and if not, what, what is the limiter there? Um, stuff along those lines. So think about that. It's something we're investigating and something we're thinking about. Uh, and I would like to get uh, feedback from y'all. So we'll do that in January. That being said, that is it. That was my last, my last topic. So happy holidays. I hope everybody, uh, if you celebrate that you enjoy, um, and we will see you all in 2022. And yeah, follow Kali to the snowball fight. Throw some snowballs at Linden's. Cheers, everyone.